Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the earpiece speaker in the iPhone 6. So during this process, we're going to be using a few different tools. One of the tools that I'm going to be using is a suction cup tool, and I'll explain in a bit how this works. The other things that we're going to be using is a Phillips screwdriver size 000, and we're going to be using a small torque screwdriver size 0. So I'll include links in the video description for these tools that I'm going to be using to work on this or any parts that I'm going to be using during this process. I'll include links in the video description for them as well if you want to check them out. So first what we will need to do is in the bottom right down here there's two little screws and we're going to need to use this Torx screwdriver and we're going to need to remove these two screws right here. So next what we will do is we'll use this handy little suction tool. Now you can use another suction cup like these ones if you want and you can just put them on the front here but it's a lot easier to use this tool they're not very expensive at all and you can get these tools and what they do is they attach on the front and the back like this now what you want to do is stay as close to the home button as you can down here and if you have a cracked screen or anything like that you just can put a piece of a tape over here like packing tape and and then you have something to adhere to. So what we're going to do is just gently pry up on this screen. And as you can see, mine came apart just like that. Now if you have to, you can use a little pry tool to pry in here. I have a little plastic pry tool like this. And what you have to, if you, get, if you need to, to get it started a little bit, you can pry right under here just a little bit. And then once this thing lets loose, you can just go ahead and remove it. The next, what you need to do is carefully pry up on the screen here and then there's this plate right here and there's five screws and you're going to want to remove those and make sure you keep those screws in the right order because some of them are different sizes. So next what we're going to want to do is remove this cover right here. I'm just going to use a tweezer so you can see easy enough and then what we're going to want to do I like to use this plastic pry tool because that way I don't short anything out for sure. You can use your fingers even if you want, your fingernails. But just go ahead and loosen this connector right here. And then just go ahead and loosen the connector right behind it. And then this one over here, just kind of in order as they come up, that you can take these apart. And so there's four connectors. And then the back, the whole screen comes off just like that. To change the earpiece speaker, what you'll need to do is remove this shield right here. There's three Phillips screws and you want to keep track of them because they're different sizes so make sure you know how they came out so they can go back in the right way. Next just grab this shield and you can pull it forward and it comes out just like that. To change the earpiece speaker, what you'll need to do is you can just lift up on the front camera here and I'm just going to use the tweezers. You can grab this with your fingers. You can just Grab this earpiece speaker, it's just kind of sitting there, and it comes out just like that. So to reinstall the earpiece speaker, just grab your part, and you can see it has this little nubbin on the bottom. You're going to want to stick that in this hole right here in the rubber. So just make sure to, you can kind of feel it, it pops right in and it lines up with the screw holes right above here. Then you just grab your front camera and put it down in where it goes. And there's little pegs on top of this earpiece speaker where this little part here goes. And it just kind of sits there pretty much and then what you need to do is just grab your shield and at the same time as you're holding this stuff kind of down because it doesn't like to stay the best, you just want to grab your shield and slide it in there and then that holds stuff down and then just go ahead and put your three screws back in. To reinstall the screen, just grab the screen, set it right down in here and just start connecting the connector that's the furthest down and just keep going in order. Middle one next, and then this one over to the side here. You can kind of feel them firmly snap into place there. You'll need to grab your shield right here and go ahead and put all five of those screws back in. Now if it's easier what you can do is if you get a couple screws in to hold this in place you can kind of pull the screen off to the side here just be careful to not pull it too far so you can just rest it down and put the rest of these in. So to put your screen back in, just grab your phone and if you kind of tip this up right here, this is a little hard to see because I still have a screen protector here, but just kind of tip it up a little like this, keep it apart, and then get the top started down in here first, and then you can just kind of press the screen in, 
and just work your way down around. Make sure that it's in all the way around. And go ahead and put your two screws back in in the bottom. There you go, guys. You're all set. Thanks for watching.